Um, all right, so I'm gonna start this up and you should be able to see it on the screen. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, hopefully you didn't see that. Um, okay, so now you can see, uh, I'm not sure exactly, I can't remember what I showed you guys last time. I, I have the character all animated out. Um, one thing that I know is definitely new for you guys is animation um, of the objects. So I have this person down here, um, and yes, people are now objects uh, according to uh, my logic. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, I have the chat open on the side and I can see when you guys post, so um, feel free. Um, and so uh, you may have seen how this game uh, plays out in the first uh, little puzzle here. I'm, I'm going to play through it. I hope that's not spoiling anything um, because there's a surprise when we get outside. So uh, I want to show you guys that too. Um, and so uh, we have... Uh, this old man, we can talk to him. He's just saying, get me out of here. Um, there might be like a little quest there later. And um, we can go search. Um, didn't find anything in the crate, uh, but we can actually go search the bed and get the sheet. Um, so I did add in these icons over here. You should be able to see my mouse, I think so. Maybe not. Um, I added in these icons over on the side. Um, so that means that if you press the one button, it opens up your inventory. The inventory is actually the only thing you can access right now. Uh, because I don't have any use for statistics yet, but I do plan to use that and also as I expand to more areas I will need the map and uh, Settings in general once I get the main menu set up um, But I do have menus in already set up so that I can just create a new menu and then um, The artwork is really the only thing that needs to be done at that point um, So you can press enter on the object and then move it into your hand slot um, I might need to explain that a little bit more um, on the screen, maybe uh, put on the bottom, like click to select or something. Um, <laughs> I have someone asking if we can romance the old man. Um, I was actually thinking that it might be funny if there were like an object, like a ring that you could get in the game and you could just, uh, you could have anything as your romantic partner, like any type of object because um, the way I've coded it, uh, the old man, so any like NPC is technically the same like class variable uh, in the code as like this bed over here. Um, all, the only difference is I've added animation and uh, you can like have conversations with it. So I was thinking like you could technically romance the crate if you really wanted to um, if I did something like that. Uh, but so now you can see I have uh, the object in my hands place and I'm gonna go up to the hole here, click the space bar um, to use it because that's what it says over here is you click space and then now this little bridge appears. Um, I was thinking it might be a little iffy that someone used a sheet to cross a gaping hole that they couldn't jump. Um, but I'm like, I'm thinking that maybe there was like a ledge and they had to like tie it off to something in order to climb up. Um, so now you can, you can cross this only on the bridge. Um, it's actually cool if you get the rope from the box. Um, it creates a different bridge over this. I just created a different little picture. And so uh, I wanted to... Uh, make this kind of dynamic if you're using a different object to, to uh, bridge the gap then you get a different bridge um, so now we're gonna go outside and see the surprise oh my god there's cows um, so you may have seen that from the title of the screen um, there will not be this many cows in the game in this area I just wanted to emphasize the fact that there are cows and I just love the fact that they all just bob their head out of sync um, but I, I spent most of the day today uh, animating these guys. Um, I haven't added in the walls. I don't know if I want to for these guys because that might be extremely annoying if you kept running into cows. But that wouldn't be too much of a problem if you only had like five cows to work with. Um, in this case, there are a hundred cows. So um, yeah, there's a lot. And I haven't added in the fact that they can't, that they shouldn't be able to run into walls uh, or go through walls for that matter. Um, so now they can just climb on top of the building. Um, I do want to kind of just make it so they can spawn anywhere. So there's a possibility that they're just on the roof. Um, but as you can see with 100 cows on the screen all moving, um, this is somewhat slowing down the game. Uh, I don't know if it's noticeable. Um, also, uh, one thing that might not be obvious in the game is there is a sprint um, that's just left over from uh, when I had it in Sell Me Something because... Um, I just took the character from there and reskinned it um, because that's that's the easy way and that's what people do when you're coding. You use what you've done before. You don't recode everything. Um, but I do really like that they wag their tails. Um, they wag their tails when they're facing any direction. 
So even in the side, you can see that it's it's wagging and uh, the the color actually changes to show depth. So I was pretty proud of that. Uh, I'm trying to keep everything relatively simple so that I'm not like spending too much time on one specific object. I can always come back because these this is just one set of drawings. It's not like I had to draw this 100 times to get 100 cows. I just had to draw everything once and then I could uh, put it into the game. So um, the, the cool thing about the guy in here is that this is this is only two pictures that are going back and forth really slowly. Um, but it still gets the effect across. Uh, with the cows, there's uh, four pictures for every direction of motion and four pictures for every direction of standing, um, just standing still. So um, that took a little bit of time, uh, but I, I enjoyed the process and I, I enjoy working on it. it. It's nice to see the finished product. So um, that's pretty much all that's available in the game right now. I, I do want to make sure that I have these cows um, finalized before I add them as an update to the game. Um, but the update should be relatively soon. I'm not doing anything tomorrow, so that should be a hint that I'm probably going to um, put out an update at some point tomorrow um, of the game, or maybe even later today if I if I get enough done. Um, but this is pretty much all I'm doing right now over the summer, so, uh, other than working. So I, I go to work, and then when I come home, I, I work on my game. Um, but yeah, no, I, I just I just enjoy the cows. Um, I have some ideas for this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil anything because I think they're gonna be pretty funny, um, or pretty interesting story-wise. So, um, I I'm gonna leave that up to the future. But uh, this is all for the game right now. If you have any questions later on in the stream, um, I could revisit this. Uh, I'm probably gonna terminate this so that it doesn't have 100 cows bobbing their head in the background, slowing down my stream quality.